Hello, my butterflies, to some of those who might know. But my name is Andrew, the metamorphosis coach, and I'm also a registered nurse, travel nurse to be exact, and I'm currently out here in Los Angeles, California. Um, I work the registry sh shift, and if you don't know what that is, that means instead of having a normal 13-week contract, I work by the day. Um, it's kind of like a job, kind of like it, the demand. Um, that they send you an all job order, and if you something that you think is a good fit, then you go ahead and you book yourself for that particular day. So every day is kind of on a whim. You don't really know, are you going to be able to go and do it or not? <clears throat> you know go in because they can cancel your shift while you already in route um some go ahead and pay you money for that and some don't but how's your mental health i that's what i'm more and more and more concerned of because i have noticed myself that i'm originally from south carolina and have noticed myself being more overwhelmed especially since covid hit and i've been rushed with emotions you know taking care of patients this very vulnerable they can't they're not able to have their family members there and so it was some particular patients that kind of stood out to me that made me question my judgment as a nurse and was i doing enough um because you know through the hustle and the bustle and you have some people job descriptions and duties that don't want to do it but as a nurse all the responsibility fall on us we have to do it because our name is on this patient so if the cna don't go in the room cna don't bathe the cna don't clean them it still fall on the nurse if it, um, you don't do your turns it still fall on the nurse if the doctor decides to put all these orders in and he don't make but one round his assessment and everything is relying on the nurse and those more responsibilities. So I found myself being more overwhelmed. I found myself being more frustrated and not really loving nurse as I once did. And so my question is to you, what are you doing? I got three tips that I want to help you help motivate yourself and get you out the slum. Number one, just pay you some common music. Go to YouTube where it's free. And just play you some meditation music, you know, just to get your chakras in line, being able to meditate to get yourself back in balance, get yourself back grounded, thinking of pleasant thoughts of what make you happy or what put you in a good mood. Number two, do you have you written down any of your affirmations? I have me an affirmation pillow and I really have gotten away from it because I had it still packed in my suitcase and I was like, I said it before when I would get off my shift. I would go ahead and say it, and when I get back home at the end of my shift, I would say it, reminding me I am the creator of my reality with peace, love, and good health. I am focused to attract whatever I desire. I am operating in my God-given purpose, and so on. So this is the I Am Factor pillow that I purchased, that I created, to help remind me and to shift my mindset. And then number three, being able to know that you do have options. I mean, so many of us are running and we putting on these masks and we, we wearing these masks every day, all day. I noticed my face have been breaking out and really people really don't want to service us, especially when you tell them, hey, I'm a nurse, or you go through that little questionnaire and have you been exposed to COVID patients? Well, of course I have. And they, they immediately become a stop sign. So how are you replenishing yourself in order to you know get um your skin back i keep me some bottled water um try to drink me some as much as i can in order to help me know that hey and if you don't do it for yourself then um uh, vitamins i have some vitamins as well that i keep um just to name some of the few things and always sanitizing and you know keeping yourself in perspective of um some of the right some of the tools that you need so like i said this is angie the metamorphosis coach teaching you how to transform your dreams into reality but by being safe taking every kind of precautions but your mental health is very important and i know as we are service you know people don't think a nurse can get tired they think we really are robots so i hope you enjoyed this message all right enjoy your day